Supercomputers need massive amounts of water and electricity in order to operate. Tonight, there are some concerns about the impact of Elon Musk's facility and what it could have on Memphis' drinking water and on our MLGW power grid. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us live with some worries that environmental experts have. Joyce? Joe, the average family of four uses about... 400 gallons of water a day, 400 gallons. The supercomputer will require 1 million gallons of water a day. And the electricity needed to run the supercomputer could power 100,000 homes. Tonight, environmental experts just want to make sure that a community that's already burdened by frequent power outages and industrial pollution won't be further hurt. The world's largest supercomputer needs super amounts of water to keep the equipment cool. And that worries Sarah Houston, executive director of Protect Our Aquifer. This isn't for drinking water. This isn't for public health. This is just to cool some computers. And our pure 2,000-year-old water, that's really not the best use of this amazing drinking water source. On Action News 5 at 4 Wednesday, Memphis Business Journal reporter Stephen McLeod confirmed the Elon Musk project will likely fast-track the building of Memphis's first wastewater recycling plant, an environmentally friendly alternative to using fresh water. MLGW especially really worked quickly to make sure we'd have a gray water facility, the first in our city, uh, which is when you take uh, wastewater and purify it for okay. industrial reasons. MCAP, Memphis Community Against Pollution, is concerned the MLGW power grid won't be able to handle the increased demand for electricity. We would love to see... Um, XAI come in and use solar. Work with TVA and Memphis Black Gas and Wire to use solar instead of electricity. Um, let's make sure that we're being environmental, environmentally responsible. MLGW CEO Doug McGowan told Action News 5 it's important the company agree to join an electricity demand program. When the demand on the grid gets high, he said, they will reduce their consumption, ensuring an available supply for all customers. MCAP wants Musk to go a step further by signing a legal community agreement to be an environmentally conscious neighbor. Those are just mutually binding contracts to make sure that, you know, corporations do good by people because we can have a robust economy and we can have healthy communities. And let's hope we have both. So MCAP, Protect Our Aquifer, and another group called Young, Gifted, and Greed told me tonight that they would like the Shelby County Health Department and TDEC, the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, monitor the supercomputer facility to make sure it is not polluting the environment. Live tonight in Midtown Memphis, Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.